What's up guys? It's me. It's me. It's Remy D back for another episode of WWE 2K18 on the PS4. Today I'm bringing you the, following the final match, the finals of the New Japan Cup. Making his way to the ring. Starting it off with Long Zack Sabre Jr. versus Tanahashi. Should be a doozy, and then the second match on tonight's card is going to be the Golden Lovers versus the Young Bucks. It's going to be a fantastic episode. I hope you guys enjoy it. Simulation, as usual. I'm not playing. I'm just going to watch the matches, see what develops. Um, the final of the New Japan Cup is going, I believe, tomorrow in Japan, the next day for me here in Canada. Uh, we're a little bit behind here. He certainly seems more focused than perhaps I've ever seen him. He's got one. Should be a great match. I watched. Uh, I watched the Zack Saber Jr. versus Sonata match, and uh, it was okay. It was quite a doozy. Uh, Zack Saber Jr. really worked over the arms of Sonata throughout the whole match. He's a very technical wrestler. He doesn't use a lot of high flying stuff, and his opponent making his way to the ring. Hiroshi Tanahashi. From Osaka, Japan, weighing in at Who's gonna win? Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments right now who you think is gonna pull this one off in this match and maybe in the real life match. Um, I, I don't know. They're <laughs> Zack Saber Jr. defeated some big time opponents on his way to the final, including Sonata, Tetsuya Naito. Um, I forget, I can't remember off the top of my head right now who else he beat, but he he took on some big time opponents, beat them all. We'll see what he can do here tonight against Tanahashi. Like I said, the next match I'm excited about too. I'm excited for the Young Bucks versus the Golden Lovers. Kenny Omega, Kota Ibushi together again. Should be a wild one. Could be a wild one, I hope. I have the uh, New Japan rules set up here for these matches. Um, mostly just involving the time that they can spend outside the ring. Instead of 10 second count out, it's a 20 second count out just like in New Japan. And here we go. These two are going to lock up here and see who can pull this off. Will it be a premonition for the actual match? I don't know. I don't know. Just going to have a sip of my coffee here while the action the action gets underway. And you have to love the enthusiasm this crowd here in Nikita, Japan is showing right now. Nice knee to the head there from Zack Sabre Jr. Lovely. Taking it to him so far. Ooh, Tanahashi, nice reversal there coming off the ropes. He's not gonna let not gonna let Saber get too far ahead here. Oh nice move there. Zack Saber Jr. Capable of anything. Oh, just missed there. Just missed and now Tanahashi. Big kick to the skull. Oh, now he missed. These guys going back and forth here for sure. So far so good. The crowd here in Niigata, Japan loving it. So this kind of a little match for the, uh, like I said, the uh, New Japan Cup. Finals preview, and then the next match, the young... <laughs> that was awkward. That was very awkward. Tanahashi took a little bit out of himself there, too. Uh, the Golden Lovers versus the Young Bucks is kind of a preview to the March 25th match that's going down in L.A. Uh, New Japan's coming to L.A. in a few days. And that match has been announced on that card, so that should be a doozy as well. I was thinking about ordering it or checking it out, but it's going to be on at 2 in the morning for me, so I don't know. I don't know if that's going to happen. Oh, Saber. <laughs> Zach Saber wow. just missed He's with a big kick that. there. Wow, he is better than that. These two still feeling each other out here now. Ooh, Tanahashi. Big suplex on the outside. Shut up, Cole. <laughs> a 
Why is Michael Cole here anyway? What the hell? I should have turned your announcing right off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, right off the barricade. Zack Sabre Jr. is going to feel that one as Tanahashi slowly taking control of the match. And now, uh-oh. He's going high risk. No, he's not. He decides against it. Climbs back down. Probably wise as Zack Sabre Jr. was getting back to his feet. Probably would have dodged it. Oh, big DDT there. WWE locker room here. He might need glasses oh my god big move there from Tanahashi he is taking it to Zack Sabre Jr. on the outside he's doing some serious damage here oh there you go nice counter by Zack Sabre Jr. drops the elbow there now they got lots of time on the outside of the ring like I said they got 20 second count out instead of 10 just like they do in New Japan not where he wants to be right now. Yeah, you're not going to win many And now Zack Sabre Jr. is going to go after those legs of Tanahashi. He's going to try to take them out. Against Sonata, he focused on the arms. And, oh, big kick there. My lord, back and forth we go. So far, so good. Sabre Jr. now gets him back into the ring. Yeah, that did some big time damage, Michael. Now he's got something working. He's nice forearms there. Oh, big kick to the head. Nice move. Nice move. Tanahashi didn't see it coming. And now Zack Sabre Jr. playing to the crowd quite a bit. Might cost him here. You can't give Tanahashi a, a minute to to relax. You got to stay on him. Uh oh. And Tanahashi able to kick out. Yeah, there's no way this match isn't over after that one. Flips the script on him there. Nice big uppercut there. Ooh. Such authority. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Let me tell you. The human a little bit of a sling sling blade like there that. from Tanahashi. Hard with the and the crowd's loving it. The crowd is behind both these guys, it seems like. They're split 50-50. They're loving everything these guys are doing so far. Uh-oh. Zack Sabre Jr. is calling for a finisher here, I think. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ooh. Not sure how Tanahashi got out of it so quickly there, but he was going to go for that arm bar. Try to make him tap, because that's what Zack Sabre Jr. does. Sometimes the refs have to actually call off his matches and give him the win, because not only can the guy not tap out because of the way he's all pretzled up and stuff, but... Uh-oh, Zack Sabre Jr., nice. Hurricane run off the top rope there. And he's going for it, hooks the leg. No, Tanahashi able to kick out. You're going to have to do more than that, bro. Tanahashi is no slouch. Big elbow to the head. Uh, yeah, sometimes the refs in Japan just call off the match and give, give him the win because the opponent can't even tap out because of the way he's contorted into a submission maneuver. It's pretty wild. Technical wrestling at its finest. And now Zack Sabre Jr. has really got control of this match. Tanahashi, though, is reversing these submissions fairly quickly. He's not letting him do too much damage, which is good. For Tanahashi, anyway, there we go. Reversal. Big flying forearm. Getting the fans back to their feet. I don't think the fans have sat down since this match started. Uh oh. Tanahashi with a huge power bomb. With the pin. Two. No, Zack Sabre Jr. Oh, wait. Boston Crab? What? Tanahashi's not done. Now he's trying his own submission. Zack Sabre Jr., though. Able to get out of it. Wow. Back and forth here. And now what is this? Nice. <laughs> I don't even know what kind of suplex you call that, but... This is what makes him so dangerous. Tanahashi now refusing to give Zack Sabre Jr. a chance to breathe. Is he just one move after another? Now he's going to go high risk. He's going to the top rope. The fans are going nuts. What's it going to be? Oh, the old Macho Man elbow. He missed. Zack Sabre Jr. able to get out of the way, but Tanahashi somehow regains the advantage. 
Sabre though with a nice reversal going back to the arm kick to the knee uh -oh. and back to the arm that's what Zack Sabre Jr. does he wears you down slowly but surely legs, arms, you name it back to the arm again uh oh Tanahashi caught the kick there another big suplex just gonna have a sip of my coffee here guys excuse me as we enjoy the action Tanahashi's going for it no dice Zack Sabre Jr. able to kick out Tanahashi's wondering what do I have to do to this guy here what do I have to do to win and I'm sure Zack Sabre Jr. is thinking the same thing back and forth we go now Tanahashi's going to slow things down work the arm over but no Sabre Jr. not letting him get too much damage done there as he fights his way out of it nice oh no I think Zack Sabre Jr. just got busted open on that turnbuckle he's going for the pin this could be it that was his big finisher there Slamming his head into the turnbuckle ten times. <laughs> no dice. Zack Sabre Jr. back to his feet. And right back to the arm. Oh god. Oh god. Zack Sabre Jr. has got something locked in here. Can Tanahashi get out? This is what Zack Sabre does. Oh god. And he's holding it for a while, but no. Tanahashi finally able to get out and back. Stop playing to the crowd, dude. It's coming, and it's uh oh, coming uh oh, soon. he's calling for his finisher. It's gonna be that armbar again, I think. No, Tanahashi reversed it. And then Zack Saber reversed his. Oh my god. Oh god, there's the armbar. This could be it for Tanahashi. He's nowhere near the ropes. Saber Jr. is wrenching on that arm that he's been working on all match, but Tanahashi able to. Have him release the hold anyway. Ooh, up and over. Nice reversal there. And down on the mat, Tanahashi has no idea what to do to beat this guy. And back to the legs he goes now. He's going to work over the legs, the knees. All the limbs of Tanahashi are going to be sore after this match. Uh-oh. Nice suplex there. Both these guys exhausted. Tanahashi now is going to roll to the outside, try to catch a break. And Zack Sabre Jr. looks like he's just going to go after him. He's not going to let him breathe. Oh, big shot there. Taking him down. Yeah, Sabre Jr. doesn't want to spend too much time on the outside of the ring, obviously. He got his butt kicked out there earlier. Uh-oh. Nice suplex. The WD WWE announcers are saying it's over, but I don't... Uh-oh. Uh He's got the armbar again. Come on, Hiroshi. Is he going to tap? No, he fights out of it. And now he's punching Zack Sabre Jr. in the head. Nice. Nice move there. It was almost a rainmaker. Okada Styles. Now Tanahashi back to the top rope. Big, big splash. Huge splash off the top rope. He hooks the leg. He's looking for it. One, two, three. Hiroshi Tanahashi does it. In a fantastic match, in my opinion. Fantastic match. Back and forth. It could have went either way. It honestly could have gone either way. But Hiroshi Tanahashi pulls it off in the long run with the big splash off the top rope. All the damage he did on the outside of the ring, guaranteed it helped his cause. And look at that, after his finisher gets right into a, a Boston Crab. Zack Sabre Jr. with a few submission maneuvers was, was not able to pull it off. Now is that what's going to happen in the final of the New Japan Cup? I don't know. I have no idea. We'll find out in a couple of days for sure. Now I'm going to move on to the next match. The Young Bucks versus the Golden Lovers. Stay tuned. It should be a doozy. Welcome back to my WWE 2K18 Simiverse. We are back in Niigata, Japan for tonight's main event. The following tag team contest 
The Young Bucks versus the Golden Lovers. It should be fantastic. Again, this is another preview to a match that's coming up in a couple of days. March 25th, I believe, in Los Angeles. New Japan coming to Los Angeles, or going to Los Angeles. Not that I'm anywhere near there or anything, but... Pretty cool, pretty cool. Why does it have the raw... It's got the raw um, display boards there on the side of the ring. I hate that. I hope it's just for their entrance. Oh, it's only on the one side. I see. I got gotcha. you. One or two sides, I guess. I don't know. First time I'm noticing that. There we go, Nick. Matt Jackson, the Young Bucks, part of the Bullet Club. Taking on the Golden Lovers, Kenny Omega, Kota Ibushi. Should be a doozy. I'm anxious to see the Golden Lovers back in action. I assume the crowd is going to go absolutely ballistic when these guys walk out here. I hope. Oh yeah, they're on their feet. There they are, the Golden Lovers. Oh, I forgot. In my universe mode, it looks like Kenny Omega is the ROH heavyweight champion. <laughs> I forgot I had that going on. It's been a while. The Golden Lovers, Kenny Omega, Kota Ibushi. I think I'm picking them to win. I think I'm picking the Golden Lovers to win just because they have the greatest tag team name in the history of wrestling. The Golden Lovers. That's fantastic. Come on, guys. Let's do this. I'm rooting for them, although I love the Young Bucks as well. This is kind of a, a matchup of two great teams here. Teams. Here we go, Kenny Omega starting things off with Matt Jackson, his Bullet Club brethren. And there you go, drop kick to the knees. Omega is going to start working over Matt Jackson right away. Uh, I don't know if I'd go up there, Kenny. Nick might not let you. Yeah, yeah. Nick Jackson's not going to let that happen. He's going to punch him down. Not sure what Kenny Omega was thinking there. Come on, Kenny. Wake up, Mike. Oh, big boot to the skull to Matt Jackson. Nice. He recovered quickly from the, the sneak attack of Nick Jackson. And now Matt able to take the advantage, taking him down with a belly-to-belly. -belly. And Matt's going to head over, tag in his brother Nick to take over against Kenny Omega. Nice slam there. Nick Jackson now is going to go to the outside. Is Kota Ibushi going to stop this? He should. No, Kota just walks away. Let's Nick do it. Oh. Good Lord, Kota. Do something, man. Nick Jackson now taking it to Kenny Omega, the cleaner. Or the god of wrestling, whatever he's calling himself nowadays. But you can never count Kenny out. He's just that damn good. There we go. He's got Nick Jackson into his own corner. Now he's going to make the tag to Cody Ibushi. Here we go. Let's see some double team moves here. Nice suplex. Kota comes over the top rope. Nice. Nice teamwork there by the Golden Lovers. And Ibushi. Whoa. Oh, nice move. He's going to feel a whole He's taken to the skies already. Welcome to the match, Kota Ibushi. Big knee to the back of Nick Jackson now. Uppercut? Where was an uppercut, Cole? Shut up, Cole. Oh. Nick Jackson now trying to regain control of this tag team match between two epic teams. Gets Ibushi back to his feet now. Up and over with the suplex. It might only be a matter of time until we start seeing some super kicks here. Super kick party. Uh-oh. 
He's really taking it to Ibushi now. He's going to go tag in his brother Matt. All he has to do is get to his corner and make the tag. So far, I'd say the Bucks are ahead. They're in the lead. They've taken a couple of moves from the Golden Lovers, but they've been in control of the match so far. Oh, Kota Ibushi. Beautiful move there, catching Matt Jackson off guard. Sitting him down with a huge kick to the skull. And now Ibushi. He's gonna he's gonna try to get Kenny back in the match here, I think. Oh no. Oh no. He's gonna slow things down a little bit. Just gonna slow things down, try to work over Matt Jackson here, but no, Jackson's not having any of it. He's got him up and down on that knee again. A knee to the guts from the young bucks. Shut up, Cole. Uh oh, Matt Jackson with the tombstone pile driver. Vintage. And now that could mean. Oh no. It might be double super kick time, boys. Oh, maybe not. No, they're just gonna. Oh my god. I'm gonna stop a mud hole in him here. They're gonna take turns doing it. And Kota Ibushi needs to make a tag to Kenny Omega now. He's taking the brunt of the beating here for his team. And now the Bucks are not done. Oh, nice drop kick there from Nick Jackson as Matt dances in the middle of the ring. Good Lord. Nick hooks the leg. One, two, no dice. No dice and Kenny Omega got taken out from by Matt Jackson, my Lord. The Golden Lovers have a little bit of ring rust here. The, the newly formed tag team has to work out their, their kinks here. Get the tag in, Coda. You got the advantage. Get the tag in, bro. Oh, big elbow to the guts. And now he's got Nick in the wrong corner. There. Go for the tag, bro. Go for the tag. No dice. Oh. He might try it now. As Kenny Omega sitting on the outside, though. There's no way Kota Ibushi's going to get the tag in. Damn it. Again, off the second rope. Oh. Not as fancy as his first move. Oh. Another standing moonsault now from Kota Ibushi taken to the skies. And again. Another huge move. He hooks the leg. Kenny back to his feet. But Matt Jackson is able to get in the ring. Oh. That was almost a, was it, a zigzag or a reverse code breaker or something by Kenny Omega. Nice move there. And now Kota is calling for his finisher. Out of nowhere, Kota Ibushi. Uh-oh. Oh, God. I don't even know his finisher yet. <laughs> oh, big sit down power bomb with the pin. One, two. Oh, Nick Jackson able to kick out at the last second. I thought he might have had him there. Kota Ibushi on a run. And again, off the ropes, another moonsault. Jesus, or a lion salt, sorry. And now he's going to go make the tag to Kenny Omega. Kota really turned things around in this match for, for the Golden Lovers here. Now Kenny Omega is going to see if he can finish it off. Big kick, bad kick, big punch. Nice suplex there. And now Kenny Omega is calling for his finisher. Oh good lord Nick. It's the one winged angel. Hooks the leg. Two. No, oh, Nick Jackson able to kick out. Matt Jackson missed with the breakup. But Nick Jackson still able to kick out. Now he's he's got Kenny Omega now. Uh-oh. Oh, good lord. We got all kinds of action in this match. Two great matches on the card here tonight. Now Nick Jackson's got him up for the tombstone pile driver. There it is. Drives his head into the mat. Is he... Is he dragging him to the corner? No, just to the middle of the ring a little bit so he can snap the neck there. Good God. Back and forth action. It could go either way at this point. I have no idea. Uh-oh. Don't tell me it's... Oh, Kenny Omega. Nice reversal there. That could have been a double super kick time. Omega, though, dropping the elbow into the back of the skull now. Quick kick. DDT. Taking it to Nick Jackson. Jackson, though, able to reverse it now. Back to his feet. A little too sweet for the crowd. And then he gets in some clotheslines here for Kenny Omega. Omega misses with his own. And a big drop kick from Nick Jackson. He's all jacked up. 
He is all jacked up. Come on, Kenny. Oh, another tombstone pile driver. Oh my God. Go, oh, Kenny Omega's busted open. Nick Jackson busted him wide open. Delivering the beat down on his his fellow Bullet Club member here. And now he's calling for it. Omega slowly getting back to his feet. Super kick. No! Omega with a huge reversal. Takes him down with a massive chop. And now he sends him into the corner here. He's going to try to get the tag into Cody Ibushi, I hope, because Omega's taking a beating here now. What is this? Omega setting Nick Jackson up. Shot to the head now. Cody Ibushi lifts him up. Oh my good lord. Big time suplex. My god, even Omega's hurt after that. Cody Ibushi now goes for the pin. Omega's already in the ring. Oh my good lord. Nick Jackson able to kick out again. He's kicked out of everything. Ibushi. Oh, he missed. Son of a... Nick Jackson misses with a kick though as he tried to take advantage of Ibushi's mistake going high risk. What a match. I knew it would be a good one. And now Nick Jackson off the ropes. Nice. Head scissor takedown out of the corner now. Ibushi taking the beats. The crowd still on their feet. Just like last match. They've been on their feet the whole time. The Bucks now. Nice suplex. And now Cody Ibushi escapes Kenny Omega I don't think is oh big kick there I don't know if that's wise but Kenny Omega looks like he's all jacked oh my god clothesline from the knees almost my lord Nick Jackson though able to reverse it big counter with the big lariat rainmaker clothesline there now Nick Jackson from the top rope big splash is he gonna hook the leg no he's not it's not done yet this match is far from over it seems as Kenny Omega nice reversal and a big slap forearm he's got Nick in the corner now he's gonna send him back to his own corner but Cody Ibushi nowhere to be found he's laying on the mat after having having had taken a beating there in the last uh, his last showing and now Omega working over Nick Jackson oh and he's calling for the one winged angel again and he's gonna hit it here, but is Matt gonna be able to break it up? Hooks the leg, one, two. Matt Jackson able to break up the pin, of course. Thank God, Cody Ibushi now a little too late back to the apron. Wasn't able to break it up now. Um, Kenny Omega, top corner time. Oh God, oh God, he missed, he missed. Took too long, Nick Jackson was able to dodge it. And Kenny Omega hit the mat hard there. Nick Jackson now, he's got to try to get a tag to Matt for sure, he does. And it's double super kick time on Kenny Omega, this could be it right here. Matt Jackson hooks the leg, can, can Ibushi break it up? One, two, he can. Ibushi able to break that up. Nick Jackson though, taking care of him, throwing him right back to the outside. Kenny Omega has taken a beating from his fellow Bullet Club, <laughs> Bullet Club members here and another Tombstone pile driver. good lord down he goes Matt hooks the leg one two three the Young Bucks pull it off no surprise there the Golden Lovers obviously have to shake off some ring rust they still put on a hell of a match, but the Bucks were just too strong. Nick Jackson kicked out of a lot of moves, kicked out of a lot of pin attempts. In the end, the Bucks are just too experienced. Uh, they've, they've been working together for so long now. The Golden Lovers had just gotten back together, so they've got some kinks to work out for sure. They missed a lot of high-flying stuff off the top ropes. But they look good. They look good. It was a hell of a match. And we're going to see that match again, I guarantee you, in my Simuverse. There's another one-winged angel from Kenny Omega, but it was not enough to beat the Bucks on this night. I hope you enjoyed the matches, guys. If you did, please hit that like button, comment, subscribe for more videos. I'll try to keep these series going. Have yourselves a good day, guys. Peace. Wow, when you pick up a pinfall victory over somebody like that, you've done something right. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks.